Hello, and today I just wanted to cover a little bit of um, our five standing postures. It's the Nigang side of things. In um, the way I teach martial arts, okay, it's all about well, most people join to become black belts, things like that. But it's important to me for people to understand their emotions when they when they become martial artists. It's not just about punching and kicking. When right from the word go, definitely in the in the Tai Chi side of things, but bringing it into more of the Kung Fu, even the Kung Fu kids. Yeah, I don't want black belts, get into, people get into black belts and they're great in the gym, great in the dojo, the training area, and then they go out and they haven't got the emotions to handle life in their relationships and work and things like that. And um, our five, five standing postures is all about the yin and yang. And the yin is the soft emotions like kindness, love, compassion. and um, the yang side of things is the external, or the hard side of emotions, like the strength and the determination that we need. And we often need a balance of this, that's what the yin and yang is all about. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm just going to go over it a little bit more detail, um, just why we work on the five postures. Okay, so the first one, okay, it's not just about the emotions, it's about understanding your posture, understand to relax, understand where you hold your tension and all sorts of things. So I'm having my feet, my feet point, more of a toes point straight ahead and I'm about hip distance apart. And what the first things that I will say is to soften your hips, knees and ankles. This just means to relax into your legs. Sticking your pelvis under and you pull your PC muscle in. Okay, and that's where it stops you. Well, if you don't want to have a re and you don't have a re, you want to try and hold it in a little bit longer, that's what the muscle is for really. Okay, so you're pulling that in slightly, softening your chest and your chin slightly comes in. And then we say your crown chakra gets pulled up to the heavens and that's the crown which we are, which is open in your ball basically. And um, it's not directly at the top of your head, otherwise my chin would be up. So when I pull that up, it stacks your bones and your spine in the right order. So you're definitely going to put your pelvis under and stick your chin in and you come back to your natural freedom, breathing rhythm. And then I pull my hands out and I turn, rotate my wrist around. Okay, so this is a neutral position that we first untake. Then this is the same as fighting. Okay, I'm not going to be stood like this one in a fighting stance, but the posture still remains the same no matter what stance I hold. Okay, so start with being in a neutral position. The thumbs are out, which is what we call the tiger's mouth. It's a little gap here, okay, which is the position we want. And just be, return to your normal freedom with them, become aware of it. So we're just going to rush the room slightly. So again, from here, what we're doing then is just raising your hands. This is what we call upper yin. Okay, so if the hands are facing you, or your palms are facing you rather, it's the yin side of things. So this is the soft side. Okay, so all in here, just be nice and soft. Okay, your chest, and up around your shoulders slightly. So you're harder on the outside, which is the yang, but we're going to focus on the yin. So it's starting to die to roughly between here, like your chest muscles. Uh, elbows pointing down the floor and thumbs come up. And at first you'll find that you're holding your arms up with tension and your shoulders will be aching. So it's just finding that right posture and this is different for everyone and then even no matter how long you've been doing it, it still takes you a while just to find the right posture. Basically your arms should be resting on the internal organs so they're not that like, heavy and that's just by opening your arms slightly you still got the gap underneath here, which you should have done in the neutral position. So I'm not sure if I mentioned. Thumbs are out. So you're thinking about all the nice things and love and compassion. Focusing on your heart, love and kindness. Okay, so what I'm going to do from here, we're going to go into the upper yang. And I'm going to push my hands out slightly, cupping my palms, and my thumb is still out. And you should feel 
and relax as well. Make sure you your shoulders are nice and relaxed. A pulse feeling going through your centre of your palms. And you just come back to your chest and checking your checkpoints. It's your head, shoulders, hips, knees, and ankles, pelvis. Back to your breathing. So just experiment by going back to the yin and noticing the difference. And go back to the yang. So feel the hardness. And this is where you're focusing on strength, resolve, determination. Keep your eyes free fierce. So you need to be able to change your mindset in martial arts. You need to be nice until it's not time to be nice. It depends, you can work on your, you can work on the yin. If it's the, the soft emotions that you want to work on, like communicating to people, your loved ones and things like that. Or if you want to, you need to be assertive, got an interview or something, you can work on the yang. Go back to the yin. So from there, we've got what we call lower yin. And I'm just lowering the hands slightly. Same arm swallow, same Fist distance to left end here. And then from there we just go to the lower yang. And now I'm sitting the hands back onto the wrist and I'm just bringing my hands, palms facing down, back into the thumb, should be aligned with dead leg area. And yeah, just still feel that pulse feeling, like you're pushing down on something, extending through your neck, so you should have like a static stretch going through. Then we just return back to the neutral. After like finishing these off, we have three of these just to gather up all the nice positive energy that you've brought up. to move just like in the Tai Chi, go back down to the Tai Chi. Just take a few moments to walk you back out of it. I would say <coughs> I'd suggest just working on them for a little while. I'd say just a minute maybe each pose. And you'll find that quite hard to start with. A lot of people might say you might do not something I used to for a while, do it for about 20 minutes at a time. It doesn't need to be done that long. You'll only end up with really achy arms. And you, you do start like a minute each and then just extend it for a little bit. Maybe I'd say 20 minutes for the whole thing maybe. Sometimes, depends how you're feeling, how much time you've got in the day. Don't put pressure on yourself. But um, yeah, just work at that. Okay, and all these postures, you know, it's about connecting in the right way. So with this, okay, it's no different to when I'm doing a block in Kung Fu. If I'm doing a punch, it's that same shape that we're looking at, which is which is why it's all about connecting to your body. Okay, so you have strength, you're stronger, the strongest as you possibly can, because you're aligned correctly. My shoulder's not up. If I'm hitting something with my shoulder up, I'm just gonna hurt my shoulder. It needs to be connected, so it comes from a move, it comes from the body. So it is all related to martial arts, you know, but it's a good way to just learn about your own emotions and you know, become inwards. It's just standard meditation at the end of the day. I hope you enjoyed that.